Nice. Make sure to do the dishes. Just do it. Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh. Is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, what, no, not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. All right, today's the day we turn in that medal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right?
Hey. See ya. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? Well? Come on, let's open it up. A real gun? Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. I mean, it's perfect. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. It's getting a lot of coverage. Uh, I don't know. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just... surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now! This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late! Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? Good to hear! I already made reservations. You should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow! Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Oh, I could go for some Wagyu beef. It better be grade A. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well then. Oh. for now. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Han chose this place. Of course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got them pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like... The Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? Huh? Oh crap, you're totally right! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake! Oh, happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. Beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there, too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more beans? You put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. This is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Don't worry about the details. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. 
Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamoshida fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. Hmm. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm. Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope you didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Cornerstone of every great meal. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. So the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. But a meal is just not the same if you don't have any... I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty. It's gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going, too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Oh, up close it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. 
but they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Whoa, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. I don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on, but it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. Oh, you brought a ton back! What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? <laughs> it's cute hearing that from someone like you. It just don't get too excited, got it? You're the last person I want giving advice about that, Ryuji. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Oh, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. <laughs> yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. Oh yeah. This is a victory... for all of us. We won... because we did it... together. Good job, you guys! How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go! Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you! What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? There's still no update on the case. Not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. with 
that bossy guy. Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. wrong you're not feeling good he almost never eats well after all plus I'm always stuck eating canned cat food yeah that sir bullshit makes me sick damn it what took you so long why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. I wonder if we're out of place here. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier, too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people, too. You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? But... that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? No objections here. I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ann made the recommendation, so... I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Ooh, I've got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. How about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about Tilefish Poilé? Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. That's 
not bad at all. A good name. For a rookie. We going with that? Well, now that the name's set, who's our next target? There are tons of rotten adults and all. Why not just stick to targeting big names? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves Organization. Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual, a master of Japanese arts, Ichiryusai Matarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed.
First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate! You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. I shall explain it to you now. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It is weak now, but refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. That is the rehabilitation cast upon you. There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Though it may be presumptuous of us, we have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the rehabilitation is going well. 
This is a truly joyous occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May the devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. Like you heard last week, gym class is canceled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like... Well, a normal person. Honestly, it still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. The teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image. If you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm hmm. Hmm? You all seem more alert than usual. <laughs> Did I finally talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. much, but we've been getting more postings on the Phantom Aficionado website. I want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff I lent him. Ah, deal with that yourself! Hey, those girls. You know that Phantom Thieves rumor about stealing Kamoshida's heart? I wonder if it's true. It's gotta be made up. Do you seriously believe they exist? But look what happened to Kamoshida. He probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. Yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. 
I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. If we can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots, we don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. Looks like you'll just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, all right? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. We went and formed the Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamoshida-kun was in, didn't you? It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. From what I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamoshida to change? That is what I wish to know, even if it takes some probing into student matters. I would like you to look into this for me. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamoshida, but... Do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. No. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nijima. Thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young, yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? If something disappointing were to happen here, that wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Yes, if you'll excuse me then. It's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm hmm, of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well then, I must be going. Thank you very much for your time.
Hey, have you seen that Phantom Aficionado website? I'm the one who started it. Um... You guys are the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? Sorry. Although, if things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Kamoshida used me, and I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. I'm glad to hear that. It's not just Kamoshida. There are tons of evil adults out there. But I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. There are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? In that case, I'll just do what I want. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Moon Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. See you. We heard all that. Jeez, it was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. So that forum is Mishima-kun's. Has he figured out our identities? Even so, I think it'll be fine. He seemed to be playing it cool. I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say, though, a forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's with you? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time, too. It's not like you're any better! All you're good at is English! I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. Even your Japanese is questionable at best, Ryuji. What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> Good comeback, huh? Let's discuss this with our fists. Bring it. Will you two stop it? Okay.
Gone? That's the key to this place. You get to lock up from now on. I can't keep waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay?
happens if I care? Yep, yep. Open your textbooks. Know the answer? This is it. Exactly. These posts are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. <sighs> there ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? 
Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little longer, then worry about coming up empty-handed if it happens. Oh. This place is off limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm, interesting combination. <sighs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamoshida pretty well. Yeah, you know, he's only been here a month or so. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamoshida used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamoshida, I mean. What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Yeah, talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so lame. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. Alright, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said, there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's badmouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. All right, now get the meta nav ready. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey, what happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? What I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is. Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, jeez. That again? Uh. Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought.
everyone disappeared. It, it kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat! Is this place? Wait, are clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us! We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor, but it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is... everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted.
So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now, Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Think of it as the collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is... Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we gonna be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. Morgana! Transform! Come now, Panther. Ladies first. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turn it into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. Why a bus, though? No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! That's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! All aboard! Let's go! Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. You can't drive yourself? Do you know how to drive? That's a bit worrying, but I'll let you handle it. I don't even have that experience to lean on. You're probably more skilled than I am, too. All right, then. We'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine! You can't drive if it's not running! Jeez, oh, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? 
Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. <laughs> that tickles. Lower. Lower! Oh, there! That feels so good. Uh, is that her and I hear? Oh, what a creepy-ass car. Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. We're going full throttle. It's time to fly! Are you? Are you that stalker? Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? She's my property! I can do whatever I want with her. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? You can't treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of crap. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. What about Matarame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Matarame? What the hell's this guy going on about? Get ready. Here he comes!
I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. Not after this person I trusted used me and then disposed of me. Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madurame? I was afraid of being thrown away again, like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Maharami's heart before more people fall victim to him? Change Maharami's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker, this will make a perfect reward! So, Nakanohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? Well, the lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. Hmm, you do have a point. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, we can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold, hard cash. Well, sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it! Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What, there's more? Don't worry. It won't take long. Well then. We gotta do it. area now oh, hold on a sec you guys hearing something the trains are totally running of course they are we're in the subway you know yeah but I thought this was a palace then maybe this is how the public views this place I don't know people go through this darkness every day Forget that! You sure we're cool running around on these tracks? Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. I'm no train expert. You gotta be kidding me! Anyway, let's head to the lower area. It should be right after we go down that escalator. This 
way. What is this place? It's kind of creepy. And a dead end at that. Why does it even exist? Now hold on. Just watch. This is most likely not an ordinary wall. If my hunch is correct... It opened! A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. See? It's just as I thought! What do you mean? That wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're thinking there's gotta be more? Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us, I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back, and I'll explain more once we're home. Hey, look! A person? In mementos? Hmm... Maybe it's this one. Ooh, tasty! Hey, what's he drinking? Oh, hmm, I thought I felt something strange for a second. So, who are you guys? We should be asking you that. Good point. Sorry about that. It's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking another human for its name. Thanks for reminding me, Mr. Um, Tanuki? N no, um, hmm, Cat? What took so long to come up with Cat? I'm not either of those! Yeah, uh, getting confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. I'm pretty surprised to see some normal humans running around. I didn't know people could just come here. Well, we are pretty special. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not important. Who you are is what matters right now. When you said you were looking for flowers, did you mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? Hey, could you guys help me with my research? How? By collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. What do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Seems like it could do us some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it. And it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty lady. No, Lady On. Eh, it's probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. What'd he say? Well, are you going to help me find the flowers or not? Thanks. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We still have no idea who this kid is. Don't go thanking us just yet, bud! Aw, are you tired, kitty? You seem grumpy. I am not a cat! And I'm not grumpy! Uh, oh, okay. Then, are you hungry? I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. Here, you can have this. Thanks, but I'll pass. You're making the kid worry about you even more. Ugh, guess there's no way out of this one. 
I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Ah, oh, I also remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job. Who in the hell was that? If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? <laughs> I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him. Us, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos, no matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you too. I... I just needed pawns. I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll... be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy? Or might you be a girl? Well, Morgana can be surprisingly clingy. If that's the case, I don't want to be anything more than just friends. The feeling's mutual. In any case, of course I'm male! I mean, I... What is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in Mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. First, you need to find a way to get through your exams. I gotta study.
Should do it for now. All right. Hey. Things bad, you know, with the special activities. Ah, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night, every night. I think it's called PR. The Phantom Thieves Aficionado website. Fan site for short. You need a catchy name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of pea thieves propaganda. Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. I... I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. <laughs> just you wait. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. I've got to say, though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all.
I might be overworking myself, though. Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. Good. All right. All right, which one? Sounds good. All right, which one? Okay. Sounds good. All right, which one? All right. should be grateful. I guess that's fine.
Welcome. You want to do it? Um... Thank you very much. For real? Now then. Wanna head back? What? Seems pretty rough. Morning. Uh. Actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's Watching me. No. Oh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. Yeah.
Let's go! Um... Let's go! All right! Uh... I'm gonna make him pay. Go. Okay, let's do this. No slacking. Up doors finally opened. Are you the one who did that? I knew it. Mementos filled me in on it. But thank you. I should be able to find more flowers deeper down. Well, I should get going. Good job!
Be careful. Should we keep going? Neat. Found some will seeds, huh? They're emanating a strong power, but hmm. If you collect three will seeds, they might grow even stronger. I'm serious, okay? They do look really cool, though. I'd like to start collecting them myself. I was told to truly understand humans, I need to learn about their desires. I wonder if I'll be able to make my own will seeds after I learn more about humans. Oh, sorry. This is yours. Here you go. Let me know if you find any others like it, okay? Learning about desires also teaches me more about humans.
speaking of? Doing good? Let's go! It's not my fault. What was that? Come at me, bro!
your back. Searching all alone, can face in twilight alone. 